As I promised, this week I'm giving you a whole lecture on EQ. EQ stands for equalization, and it is a filter or set of filters that allows you to adjust the volume level of a range of frequencies within an audio signal. Another way of saying this is that EQ alters the frequency response of an audio system using linear filters. The treble and bass knobs on your stereo are a simple form of EQ, but EQ can and should be much more complex. A professional level audio equalizer provides more accurate control of tone or frequency than simple bass and treble controls. EQ can compensate for a room's acoustics, can bring clarity to a mix, help blend or separate sound, and can even imply distance or closeness of the sounding object. There are many types of equalizers. The two most common are a graphic EQ, which has sliders for each frequency band, and parametric EQ, which has at least one peaking filter with bandwidth control. Audacity has a graphic EQ built in, which you can see by going to the equalization effect and clicking on graphic EQ. Most software EQs are parametric. Unfortunately, Soundation does not have a good EQ, so those using Soundation can either use the EQ in Audacity or install a plugin such as Color EQ. Parametric EQs allow users to control three primary parameters, amplitude, center frequency, and bandwidth. You already know what amplitude and frequency are. Bandwidth is the number of octaves, or fractions of an octave, over which the signal is affected by boosting or cutting. Instead of bandwidth, most effects use the quality factor, or Q, which is the ratio of center frequency to bandwidth. Q is by far the most useful tool a parametric EQ offers, allowing you to attenuate or boost a very narrow or wide range of frequencies within each Q band. Q defines the sharpness of the band of the frequencies affected by an equalizer. A low number widens the curve and affects more frequencies, while a higher number narrows the curve and affects fewer frequencies. Soundation is an example of a three-band EQ. There are only three controls, low, mid, and high. The number of bands refers to the number of sets of frequencies which can be attenuated or boosted at the same time. Equalization is your way to a polished sound, and adding EQ as your first effect is almost as essential as creating good levels in your recording. The rule of thumb in EQ is to cut before you boost, otherwise known as subtractive EQ. Think of it as sculpting the sound, taking sound away to reveal the form. When you boost the signal, you boost the noise floor. So if you must boost, use a wide Q. When frequencies overlap, audio can get muddy. This muddiness is also known as auditory masking, which occurs when the perception of one sound is affected by the presence of another sound. EQing is a way to bring focus to the sounds in each frequency range. Think about a violin concerto. How does one violin compete with almost a hundred other instruments, some much larger? The composer essentially EQs the orchestration. The other instruments play either lower frequencies or higher frequencies than the violin. With EQ, you can sculpt your tracks, allowing the important audio through. In the next video, I'll show you parametric EQ in action.